Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Biolapse. Oh, I talked to my, uh, I messaged my commission person that's doing the thingy to make me a fancy little picture. The fan art of, uh, commissioned fan art of me, so to speak. Which is kind of what it is. Anyway, they got back to me and they said they thought they messaged me, but they just didn't, so... That all of a sudden makes me feel like I'm not being scammed, even though they could just say that, you know. Like they could just say that. <laughs> There's nothing stopping them from saying that, if it were uh, not true, you know. I'm a millionaire. People can lie, right? Or can they? I wish. I wish it were impossible to lie, because then it would make me not a liar when I said I was a millionaire. Um, but they uh, they said they're good to go, and it's all working on a sketch to be done in a couple of days, which is uh, really dope. Liking that a lot. So we get the sketch done, shows me a bit of about what uh, the general idea of it's going to be, and then I get to be like, oh, I don't like this part. That part seems a little bit weird to me. I don't really like that, you know, this and this and this and this, and I get to give them this, uh, you know, laundry list of things that I don't like about it, or things that I do like about it, and uh, then they get to fix them and make it all go away. Um, likely won't really be that much that I'm not going to like about it. It's, it's probably going to be more of like a, oh, you know, actually this isn't really going to fit within the, um, the, the bust crop that I'll be doing most of the time. Um, so I'd, I'd like if, if like the hand could be moved, you know, something like that, right? Um, so. But, uh, sketch should be done in a couple of days and then, uh, it's on to the, you know, polishing it up, shading it, and all that kind of stuff, and then it's done. Final alterations, but, you know, at that point, really shouldn't be that many, especially not major ones. I mean, if they are, then uh, they would definitely be in the right to be upset with me for not bringing it up earlier. Uh, but, you know, um, it's coming along. So another couple of days here, another couple of days, until I have a new commissioned artwork for my profile pictures and everywhere, and also for the thumbnails and stuff. You won't see it over here, we'll be using the same uh, avatar on this channel, just to make sure that we keep that separate branding. But the new channel will have the new me on it, and I will show it in a video over here briefly, but I won't, I won't actually use it any kind of... Uh, assets or anything like that on this channel just to make sure that we have that uh, separation uh, of the two places to make sure that I can grow the new channel as uh, as good as I you know can possibly make myself have a chance at growing the new channel right which is already kind of gonna be hard enough so I welcome any opportunity to make that easier um, but it's uh, it's coming up it's coming up really soon. Really, really soon. I've been saying it's really, really soon for a while now, but for now, it, you know, assuming I'm not getting scammed, and I, again, I don't think I am. I never did. Um, assuming I'm not getting scammed, it should be not this coming week, but probably like next week when uh, when the new channel goes live and I start having videos on it and stuff. Uh, I am beyond excited for that. I'm excited for so many things. As I've been talking about recently, VR, and we're getting the new stuff coming, and yeah, it's just everything's kind of going right for me right now. Makes me concerned. <laughs> what's what's gonna what's gonna change to to fix that? To equalize it. Somebody's gotta die. Somebody's gotta die. I don't know though. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't. It's not like something that has to go. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. You know, I'm not. I'm not into all that like karmic retribution kind of stuff. You know, where where it kind of all evens out or whatever. Like you know, nah. I uh, um, I uh, I believe that as long as you make pretty good choices in your life, you're generally gonna have pretty good things happening to you. You know, for the most part. I mean, there's always things that are outside your control, right? Like. You can make the best decisions you want, but if you live in like Lebanon or something, you know you're not you're not probably you're probably not gonna make it as a famous you know doctor or something like that. 
chances are. Um, just because of the circumstances, you know. Best decisions you can make still ain't gonna get you somewhere where starting in a better situation would get you. Um, which is uh, sad, but you know. It's not like uh, I, as a privileged individual, and I'm, you know, <laughs> a autistic trans person. I'm not, a, I'm not the most privileged person in the world, but, um, you know, regardless, I, I still am. Um, you know, it's, you, you gotta, you gotta recognize that, right? You gotta recognize that there is some degree of privilege going on. Some degree of, uh, you know your life you kind of had a good position you can't expect other people to just kind of do that too right which is kind of where I, I think that the whole privileged thing comes from right it's a lot of people are like well I did it why can't you and they're like well because you started in a in a country that doesn't have constant war and uh, how many times have you seen your workplace be exploded and you know so on and so forth and it's like oh well um, why can't you just like you know pull yourself up by the bootstraps? Like, well, if you don't have bootstraps, you can't even do that. <laughs> you know. Um, but uh, it's not—it's not necessarily because you have to, uh, you know, you know, recognizing your own privileged situation. It's not so that you can uh, make your life worse to match other people. Rather, so that you can uh, understand why other people might not be able to be as successful as you even if they're putting in more effort than you you know you're not you're not superior to them you're not smarter than them or whatever you're just uh... you started in a more privileged position it's like um... you know if you started on youtube six years ago you had a much better chance of uh, of making it big just because there was less people to compete with you you know it wasn't such a saturated market you know nine ten years ago or whatever right same kind of thing, right? It's not that uh, those YouTubers were necessarily better when they started, anyway. Um, or that they put in less effort. Necessarily, anyway. It's just that they started at a better time. You know, it's it's all about... it's You know, luck is a big part in it, anyway. Um, the moral of the story here is that I don't really like this room. But at the very least, this is probably going to be a win on Biolapse, which is always a... A nice thing because you can't always you know biolapse is one of those maps where I can't really go into it and fully expect to win out of myself sometimes you know you go in and you're like I don't know it really depends on the maps you get that was one of the ones that I don't like so much but it went pretty good handled it okay anyway anyway that's my rant on privilege I'm not the most privileged person in the world, but you know you, you gotta you gotta recognize it, right? You gotta recognize it so you don't go around to making a fool of yourself. You know? Seems I must take a personal hand in this. In this, I say my these as this because I am German. Cause I am German. I say this. I don't know. There's a lot of languages that say it. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know what it is. You know. But it always bothers me when I hear people doing like fake accents and stuff, and and all they do is like this. I'm like, oh, are you just like you know garbage French accent? I get it. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Whatever, dude. <laughs> but a lot of languages actually um. They, uh, there's like, there's like two things that happen in a lot of languages, and I should probably ask my linguist friend about it, or Google it or something. Um, but there's, uh, the W and the V, which makes sense to me, because in a lot of languages they are the same thing. Um, in English as well, they were the same thing until, like, fairly recently. Um, but, uh, there's also the Zs, the THs being, uh, Z. This, this. I don't know. How, I don't know how you do it exactly. I don't. I don't think it's exactly just a straight replacement with Z. I don't think it is. I think. I think it's a little bit more nuanced than that. But it's close enough. <laughs> it's an interesting. 
thing. Those are those are the two that kind of like stand out to me as being the most uh, kind of the most common amongst a lot of languages. W and the V's being uh, the one that makes the most sense to me. I don't know why I don't know why THs end up being Z so much though. That one I don't get. Maybe it's because they just don't really have that, like the, the you know, sound in uh, in their language. Um, so the closest thing that they have is is the is the Zs. Um, perhaps, you know, like they might have ths or whatever, but like more of a th, you know, less of a the, more of a th, you know. And maybe they don't even have that sound at all. I don't know. But uh, it's it's always something that kind of has interested me. I've never bothered to look it up and understand why it happens, but it's a it's a common thing that kind of happens, and I don't. It's always bothered me, yeah, when when people do fake accents or whatever, and uh, they're, they're doing like a French accent. It's always this cake is wonderful. And I'm like, okay, you're just the junky old French accent. Like, there's more to French than just this. You know? Oui, oui. Um, anyway. <laughs> I like doing accents and stuff. It's okay. As long as nobody's getting hurt, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. A lot of people get upset when you do accents and stuff. And they're like, oh, well, there's some accents you can't do. And I'm like, you know what? I disagree. I strongly disagree. I think that it's possible to do an accent. Don't grab that. I think it's less about the accent that you're doing and more about how you're doing the accent, you know? As long as you understand why they say things the way they say things and you're trying to do an accurate imitation of the accent, I don't think there's a problem with the person. I think that the problem comes into it when you focus on the few sort of like most prominent characteristics of their accent and then you just kind of mock them, you know? Like what happens a lot of the time with uh, like Japanese or Chinese or, or whatever, right? Um, particularly China, uh, Japanese, um, as as people try and do like fake Japanese accents, or whatever. And they don't do the accent; they just get rid of all of the L's. I'm like it's it just like that's that's I feel like where the problem comes from is when you don't really understand the accent you're doing. And uh, you're not trying to do a, a, a you're not trying to do it. You're, you're just picking at the parts that are uh, that you know that are most obvious, which are, are oftentimes the parts that people are the most self-conscious about as well, right? They kind of go hand in hand for the most part. I don't like this room. Um, so you, you end up just picking at those parts and then mocking it, and uh, that's 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 really where the problem comes from in accents. You know, I, I feel that, uh, you know, a, a white English speaker can do a Japanese, Chinese, Indian, you know, whatever accent you want, as long as you actually understand why the accent is what it is, and uh, actually try and do more than just a, a mockery of it. I, I don't think there's a problem with it, personally. You know? It's that most people don't understand. Like, I, I don't understand why... Um, you know, Indians have the accent that they have. Like, I don't know how their language works or the, the you know, the sounds that their language kind of uh, has. So if I were to do an Indian accent, I think it would be a little bit racist because I'd, 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 I'd be going off of purely um, sort of just mockery, right? It'd be like a, a caricature of it, you know? I don't think that's, I don't think that's okay. But uh, a lot of people get upset just at accents in general. I don't think that's right. You know? As long as you're being respectful, I, I don't think there's uh, there's really anything that's offensive, personally. I mean, everybody's entitled to their own decisions on that. That's that's a purely subjective take, of course. It's, uh... You know, if you're, if you're offended by something, who, who am I to say you're not allowed to be offended by that, you know? I've, I've been told that too many times. By, uh... By people, many people, people who I used to think I was pretty close with, you know, it's it's a, it's a fast track onto the you know we're not really close anymore kind of uh, 
kind of a thing when when people get upset at you for being offended by something I'm like you know well maybe maybe you should you know uh, you know I might not necessarily find it offensive but if somebody else finds it offensive I think that it's very rude to not at least put forth some degree of effort to not offend them you know but uh, anyway that's that's my that's my belief on it which I guess doesn't really matter because I, I speak you know Canadian English I'm not really the kind of person who's uh, whose accent is being mocked so much you know <laughs> so having an opinion on uh, on accents probably not necessarily the most based of things but that's my opinion on it anyway as a as a privileged white individual <laughs> um, but I don't know you know because it really comes down to who you're talking to you know I think that some things you should just not be a jerk like I know um I talk to people and this is this is something that uh, that happens like all the time this is like such a common occurrence that it just it boggles my mind for one that that people think this is okay um, like it just it just completely it, I'm, 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 I'm like baffled by it whenever it happens and it happens very very frequently um, and it, it boggles my mind uh, but the other thing is is it just like doesn't keep you from being offensive uh, and what it is so that you can understand what the heck I'm talking about here get no that's really bad that clot just like absolutely if we die here it's that clot's fault MVP for the Z team like my god um, so anyway what it is is uh, is I'll, I'll often say hey you know that's actually kind of offensive could you not do that it happens with the uh, with both the trans and the autism thing, you know, people will use autism as an insult or they'll make some kind of like jab at trans people or whatever, right? And I'm like, hey, that's like really offensive. Can you not do that? And then they'll be like, hey, sorry, I'll, I'll try not to do that around you. And I'm like, that, 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 does, that doesn't, that doesn't, that, 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 that's not the point. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not that I want you to not do it around me. I want you to change your entire thinking on the matter so that that's not something that you would ever want to do you know um it just boggles my mind that some people think that's okay you know like what happens this, this is something that happens actually all of the time and uh i know i know some people uh who i i know and i still talk to on the regular who might be watching this and, and might be thinking i'm talking about you i kind of am um, but it's actually like a thing that it happens like on the regular um, but uh, with autism people will use autistic as an insult you know like oh uh, you know I'm not an autist or you know these people you know these autistics you know or whatever right like they're using autistic as a as an insult right and as an autistic person I'm like it's not it's not an insult to be called autistic it, it's, it's like who I am you know like it's not it's not an insult at all um, and, and and when people use it as such it, it's pretty hurtful um, and then and then they'll say something like hey I'm sorry I'll, I'll, I'll not do that around you and I'm like but like you're still admitting that you think that it's an insult you're, you're still saying that to you it's an insult you know that around other people who aren't me you'll still use it because you know autistic is still an insult to you I'm like, I want that to change. That fundamental, you know, kind of misinformation on, on what autistic is. I want, I want that to change so that you just aren't using autistic as an insult anymore. You know? Um, it happens with, uh, like, a lot of things, actually. With trans, with uh, with autistic, with, with a lot of things that happens. And I'm, I'm sure that other people have it, too, with, with you know, with, with skin color, hair color religion or whatever people use it as an insult like hey you know I'll, I'll keep it down when I'm around you then it's like but that doesn't that doesn't solve the problem <laughs> you're still being just as offensive because you're still saying that you'll use it elsewhere and that's still stemming from a problematic fundamental belief in, in what the thing is um, yeah <laughs> anyway 
That's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. It's a bit of a shorter episode. I guess Biolapse is a bit of a faster map, but... Um, thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Squeak, squeak. My god.